Welcome to this Perceptive Readers Podcast. Hi, I'm James Lynch. You better believe it. These are 10 amazing facts about your immune system. This article that I'm going to reference is on the Everyday Health website. It is written by Ashley Welch. That is Ashley Welch. Though the article is June 15, 2015, it is by no means, uh, how, how, how is it called once it obsolete? That's right. It is by no means obsolete and it is still fact checked. Yes, it has been verified as well by another agency. So with that being said, Let's at least read the first few paragraphs and then I will give you the numbered items of what Ashley's report was on. But under each item, yes, there are actually further comments made about why it is so. However, let's just start with the opening paragraphs. She starts off by saying, the different parts of the immune system play unique roles in protecting the body against infection. The immune system is made up of a network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to protect the body against infection and maintain overall health. The human body is an optimal environment for pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, and ferrocytes to thrive. The immune system works to limit these microbes access to the body and prevent them from growing and causing illness. While most people know the basic function of the immune system, there are many intricacies about your body's natural defense system that you may not be aware of. And here are the 10 amazing facts about the immune system. Remember, she really breaks it down, but I'm just going to read each heading and I encourage you to go to Everyday Health and look up this article. It, she starts with number one. Each part of the immune system has a unique function. Oh, she really broke it down from the uh, blood cells and the, also the lymphocytes and white blood cells. Yes, yeah, she, she goes into that. But now let's move on to number two. Vaccines play an important role in educating your immune system. Now, what I would encourage you to do that after reading this heading, you can also make a note and find out, okay, what are in what? vaccines have you had in your life and really don't you think it's important enough for you to do the research to find out what was in every vaccine that you had and how it really did help your body it is important to know what the ingredients are if you will that actually makes up the vaccine because why uh there are certain things that different you know uh persons are allergic to. So, you know, there's been times there's been exemptions from this or that for even other grounds why people uh, could not take whatever the vaccine happened to be. Okay. Now, number three, every day we encounter billions of germs, but they're not all bad. Yes, you will even find out that there's a such thing called good bacteria. And these actually helps our body, you see, to become stronger. And l let's say that uh, you may be having a, a problem in one area or difficulty or illness, but there may be a type of bacteria introduced uh, to the body that, you know, will actually help you. I think about, uh, look, let, let me show I'm giving give medical advice, but I was just wondering, I thought penicillin was more on the lines of that too. It may not be, but <laughs> I'll look it up. That just came to my mind as I was reading this. Number four, keep this in mind. Stress can affect the way your immune system works. You better believe it. There are persons at times that depending on what they're enduring in life, you see what they're having to go through, it was not 
a virus or anything that caused their system to break down, but it was their own stress and what they were experiencing that caused their body to what uh, become sick upon itself. So it's important to keep that um, in mind uh, so that, you know, you know this. Now you have number five, uh, positive emotions and a healthy lifestyle may boost your immunity. That is true. Number six, sleep deprivation, deprivation can impact the immunity. That's another fact that is true. And notice this. This is where I'm getting to about why certain persons cannot take, you know, uh, medications. Uh, uh, and I could name some, but I won't. Uh, but there are certain medications, again, where if you have allergies, See, uh, allergies are the result of your immune system reacting to a false alarm. So, yes, certain things can actually set your allergies off. And I just uh, want to make you aware of that. That's just a uh, extra uh, FYI. Your immune system can attack itself. Now, that's what's uh, so, you know, um, Really something to give serious consideration to. Uh, I could go into um, how your DNA uh, works. Uh, I've heard, you know, even doctors uh, describe more about different uh, medications, but they were really being specific really on uh, the vaccines and things of that nature. Exactly what it does and how if uh, you end up doing something or taking something that can, you know, cause a real adverse re uh, reaction on your body, it can cause something uh, which is uh, stated as an autoimmune disease. And that's when your own immune system destroys its own healthy uh, tissues. Once again, this is why for every medication, uh, you know, when doctors, if you read the back of well, what's you know, what's in it, uh, what the side effects could be or what have you, you may find out again that, oh, I'm already uh, allergic to this because I found this out with my last doctor, you see, or what have you, before they uh, uh, moved to the Bahamas and enjoy life. That's just a sad thought. All right. Number nine, women are more likely to be diagnosed with autoimmune diseases. See, I didn't know that, but this is a fact. Women are more likely to be diagnosed with autoimmune diseases. And this is according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And then number 10, being too clean can inhibit your immune system from functioning uh, property, uh, properly. And see, that goes to show you uh, oh, why, you know, uh, uh, children... Uh, it's good when they out there playing in the dirt and, and things of that nature and sometimes eating their uh, dirt pies. That they should, uh, it's just a joke, but hey, you know, maybe that's why some of these persons are strong today. They were making those uh, mud pies and they were eating them too and some of them probably still in the refrigerator or freezer, you know. <laughs> Oh, then anyway, so there you go. And I just wanted to share that with you again. This is called the 10 amazing facts about your immune system. I encourage you to, uh, if you want to know more about it, you can just go to everydayhealth.com uh, and read it. It's by Ashley Welch. And you have a super day, a nice weekend. If it's on a Friday, you take care of yourself. You have just listened to the Perceptive Readers Podcast. Remember, until next time, if you read something that encourages you to improve or enhance your life for the better, it becomes your reality.